<laughs> Welcome to another Adobe Tip of the Month from your friends at Hedrix Training. My name is Warren Heaton, and today I'll be showing you a quick tip related to text layers. I'm going to start with a new type layer and type in some text. And I'll quickly get that centered up in size so we can see it a little bit better. Um, once you've created a text layer, if you expand the layer, um, you'll find underneath it a row for text and a row for transform. And then if you expand the text row, you'll find source text, path text, and more options. The source text remembers everything that's set in your character panel and your paragraph panel. However, to actually enable animation here at the text level, so this is separate from the items that show up here under transform, you want to come over here to the animate pop-up menu and click on that. And when you click on this animate pop-up menu, you can add any one of these properties. Um, sometimes you can add properties in groups, but right now I'm going to add opacity. And what that does in After Effects is it automatically adds animator one with a range selector and then the attribute I just chose from this pop-up which is the opacity pop-up. Now as I animate or as I get to animating this or working with this later I might decide I want to add another property from this list. And what can be a little confusing is After Effects gives me two places to add things to this list. There's the animate pop-up menu which is in the same row as the word text but there's also the add pop-up menu. Um, if you have the text selected and click on the pop-up we start that we started with, the animate pop-up. Let's say this time I choose a different property, like something like oh rotation. Um, since I chose it up here without animator one selected down here, it added animator two. So now I have two separate animators for my two different properties. Let's say I didn't want that, so I'll just remove animator two by selecting it and deleting it. But let's say I wanted the rotation property to be with opacity under animator one. Um, what I should have done, or what would have been a better choice, is for me to click on the word add, that it's in the same row as animator one, and then choose rotation from there. So now I have opacity and rotation grouped together under animator one. So I'm gonna remove that rotation by selecting it and pressing delete. If I have animator one selected, when I go to the pop-up menu at the top, then After Effects will realize that that's the animator I wanna add this property to, and then, as long as that's selected first, the top pop-up menu will add the, to the existing animator. It's only if that animator isn't selected that this pop-up menu will add it to a separate animator. Just some little tips and tricks to be mindful of as you're working in After. I hope you enjoyed this tip of the month from Head Tricks Training.